Hi, my name is Ross Galloway. Uh, I'm the Director of Teaching for the School of Physics and Astronomy. Hello, my name's David Stevenson. And I'm a professor here in the School of Geosciences at the University of Edinburgh. So Physics with Meteorology is a physics degree at its heart, but with a particular flavour and particular emphasis on atmospheric dynamics, meteorology and the processes of the Earth's atmosphere. And so what you do there is you follow a um, physics degree, which gives you all the numerate skills, but you particularly have an expertise in meteorology-related topics. The Physics with Meteorology degree is a really nice way of learning physics. So you can go outside and see the wind and you can see the feel the variation in temperature. And all these are sort of related to thermodynamics and, 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 and physics topics that you learn about. So it's a really sort of tangible way of actually experiencing physics and, and uh, uh, understanding it. So the core courses are classical and quantum mechanics, electromagnetism, thermal physics, uh, nuclear particle physics, waves, also the mathematical techniques and skills that you need in order to be able to follow the physics. But as well as that, you have specific modules on the Earth's atmosphere, on atmospheric dynamics, uh, on weather and climate. So in the second year, you get uh, a lot more meteorology. A third of the courses are meteorology courses. And in these courses, we introduce observing lots of measurements in the atmosphere, so measuring temperatures, wind speeds, pressures, uh, understanding how you can interpret these in terms of weather forecasting, weather forecast charts. There are several courses that deal with climate physics and the underlying causes of, of, of climate change so we can understand how humans are actually changing the climate and put that in the context of natural variations in climate. If you stay on for the fifth year, then you do a research project. That can be chosen from a range of topics. It takes up roughly half of the final year and that really gives you the opportunity to go in detail into a particular subject, learn a lot about it and do some novel research. Quite often these research projects can end up producing a publication with the supervisor and these are really cutting edge research projects that we get students to do. There's also an opportunity to do summer internships, typically over the summer after the junior honours year and later. But again, allows you to really get into the heart of the research activity um, and see cutting edge problems and contribute in that way. Physics with meteorology, you bring particular skills in understanding the Earth's atmosphere and the Earth's climate. And so now more than ever, that is in demand, particularly with continuing changes to the Earth's atmosphere and the importance of understanding, modelling and analysing those changes as we move into the near future. The obvious employer is the Met Office in the UK, but other government agencies like the Environment Agency and the Scottish Environmental Protection Agency, these government labs that, that use meteorological data for things like flooding, uh, flood prediction and coastal flooding and, and, and so on, you'll be in demand with your quantitative skills for companies like that. The renewables industry, information about solar energy and wind energy, meteorology is, is key for understanding exactly how we harness that energy and use it. The other industry that's quite important is the insurance industry. So we need a quantitative understanding of hazards and risk and those kind of industries employ meteorologists to tell them about things like the likelihood of severe storms affecting assets and business and lots of our graduates go on and, and do further academic research. So not many institutions offer a meteorology specialism, so we're one of the relatively few universities in the UK where you even can study physics with meteorology. We are fortunate to be in one of the world's great cities. It's a UNESCO World Heritage City. It has many, many cultural activities. It's beautiful. It has amazing green spaces. You are very close to the highlands and the wilds of Scotland. It's got topography, so you can you can sort of see things happening in the vertical a little bit. It's got Arthur's Seat, the hill in the middle of the city, and we get great views from the meteorology lab up here as well. So you can sort of see across the Firth of the Fourth, uh, over to Fife, and you get these nice views, and actually you can directly experience a lot of meteorology just from looking out the window.